Hey guys, welcome to the channel. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything, but it really helps the channel out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you watched my last video, which I'll leave a link above over there, um, it was a magnetic bowl. It was actually sent to me in error. I actually ordered this part over here, which is the digital scale by Park Tools. So obviously I'm very happy that the product eventually arrived. So uh, let's do this thing. So as I was saying, very happy that the part actually arrived in the end. So let's go over to the workbench and have a closer look. So looking at the box, it's uh, just a standard box that uh, Park Tool products come in. It's the blue cardboard box. It's a DS2 version over here. Um, you do get another version if you look at the back here, the DS1, and that is the bike scale that you can get. It does have some product information on the back over here in a few different uh, languages and the most important items is that it's only two grams accurate it does come with a battery and uh, it has a battery save option it's got an easy read lcd display and um, you can also auto zero the item which they call the tar function and that is if you obviously have something else for example a bowl or something you put that on the scale first you zero it out and you put your other item in it to get a more accurate reading so let's open the box okay the scale itself does come with instructions little manual over here and then comes with a sort of egg container recycled plastic container to actually hold the scale and get the scale out there there we go The scale is uh, made of, uh, or wrapped in this plastic, so it's made of plastic. It does have a small little gap here between the actual part where you put your item to be weighed, and there, there's a gap there, which I presume will move slightly up and down, and that's the way the actual measurement is taken. If you look at the back, it does come with a battery, which is in the back over there, and it is a CR2030 like that it does also have a little film over the front of the lcd display which i will not remove at the moment it's got an on off switch and the tar function you can then switch between grams and ounces if need be it's got a maximum of three grams ah, three grams that'll be a bit light three thousand grams that you can weigh on the actual scale itself if you leave the scale on after 60 seconds it'll automatically shut down and all these items all these points rather that i'm covering now are documented here in the instruction manual itself so if you switch the scale on it'll then go to zero as i mentioned before you can switch between grams and ounces if i want to do weigh for example the pump we just place that on the oopsie like that and there it comes to 114 grams bear in mind that is plus minus two grams accurate as i mentioned earlier if i want to do for example measure this or put this in something first so if i had the box i'd put the box on there it's going to say 42 grams i just press the on off button once it zeroes the scale and then you can uh, put your item on top there to get a better reading going to lift that up a bit there as I see there's quite a bad glare there so once again take that off take that off you can see now it's a negative value that's been read I can zero it out put the box on top zero that out and then put the item you want to weigh on top of that so I think it's basically a standard function with all scales in any case if we actually look at the size of the scale but before I do that, if you want to switch it off, obviously you can wait the one minute, or you just hold the on off button down, and there it switches off. The scale itself is actually quite small. It fits in the palm of my hand like that. 
it is 17 millimeters or sorry centimeters long so that's 170 millimeters or 12 centimeters wide which is 120 millimeters wide it does have a bit of a plastic feel as you can see it it is made of plastic completely okay so i'll get my old trusty scale out that i've been using and i'm sure my wife's going to be happy that this will go back to the kitchen permanently we take the scale and we weigh that and that weighs 233 grams so guys that's my quick look at this park tool scale and this is going to be replacing the current scale that i've been using that'll obviously go back to the kitchen and i'm sure my wife will be very happy about that and as i mentioned i don't think you can go wrong with these guys they make some good products but obviously time will tell and thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next